Damien Anderson, and in this video we'll look at how you can use LUTX Free to correct log footage to a more regular video look, and also how to correct exposure that might otherwise cause part of the image to be lost. Make sure you've updated to the latest version of LUTX, available from cormelt.com, and restart Final Cut 10 if needed. If you don't have LUTX already, download LUTX Free, which is enough to follow along. When you shoot in log mode on a camera that supports it, the image data is stored in a flatter, lower contrast way. Handled properly, this can allow you to capture a greater dynamic range than is possible with standard video modes, allowing for more detail in the highlights, and possibly in the shadows too. However, you'll need to correct the footage to make it look like normal footage. Correcting only with a colour board won't give you enough contrast, and a better way forward is LUTX. Find the C2 LUTX category of effects, then drag the Apply Camera LUT effect to a log clip in your timeline. From the Camera LUT menu here in the Inspector, choose the LUT that matches the camera you shot with. I shot these clips on a Blackmagic Cinema camera, and there's a choice of two LUTs for this camera. It's also possible to use a different camera LUT if you prefer that treatment. This shot of two birds is badly overexposed if I was to apply the standard camera LUT. However, if I use the pre-exposure slider, I can correct the clip before the LUT is applied. This means I've got much greater control over the appearance of the mid-tone contrast in the image, and I'm going to get much better results if I want to apply further colour correction, let's say like the colour board, further down the line. This shot of clouds isn't overexposed, but if I apply the camera LUT, then you'll see that I've almost lost all the detail in the clouds. It's also not possible to recover that detail if I was to use the colour board. However, if I just drag pre-exposure back down, I can push the highlights back up with the colour board later, even push the shadows down, and now I've got a lot more detail in those mid-tone and highlight areas. If you don't want to use a camera LUT, you can use Apply Basic LUT, which is also free, and then you can choose a LUT which you've downloaded from the internet. A wide range of LUTs are available from fcpxfree.com. Just search for LUT at the top of the site, and you'll see lots of LUTs there. For more, look to the full version of LUTX, with multiple different collections of look LUTs available for purchase. There's also a LUT browser for trying out many LUTs really easily. There's also an effect that combines a camera LUT and a look LUT in one effect. The free and paid versions of LUTX are available now from cormelt.com. Thanks for watching.